welcome back to plant on planning here we are um doing my weekly spread in my gratitude planner <laughs> so let's go ahead and take these pages out and get some work oh gosh let's look move that to the side get this popping all right so this is the washi that I have to use for this week. I think it is completely, utterly, um, beyond gorgeous, and I totally love it. And then we have this nice blue color that plays, the blue and white that plays on it, so everything works out perfectly. As you can see, this washi doesn't take up the whole space. Sorry. You can see it doesn't take up the whole space, so what I'm going to do is double it up, which I completely, totally, and utterly love doubling up my washi to be 100% honest with you I just think it adds just a tad bit more dimension to everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right across the top ever so gently and give it a little cut And then I'm going to go right above the Monday. So yes, it does overlap just a tad. And what I'm trying to do is just line everything up. Or maybe I should do it like this. No, nah, we're just gonna, ah! We're just gonna line it up. Let me just line it up. All right, there we go. Trying to get like as close as possible. Okay. See, look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous this is. Look at that. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. All right, so let me go ahead and cut these off and get over to the next side so I'm going right across the top once again I'm just hitting that and I'm trying to line it up and I want to do, I think I'm going to do the white. Here, I'm going to just go off just a tad bit and do blue and white on this side. Yes, 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 yes. I basically just want to use this washi forever now. Being a how it came out so perfect. I'm not even lying. I think I just found my favorite washi in life. It's gorgeous. Like when I saw it, I just had to have it. And I'm glad I didn't go, well, you know, to myself. All right. Let's frame out our weeks. Look at that. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Let's frame out our weeks. Ever so wonderfully. Yes, yes, yes. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? And I'm going to put this one in the middle of the bottom area. So once again, just give that illusion like it's taking up the whole space. And I'm bringing it all the way out.
Oh my gosh, let's get some stickers going. So for the stickers, I am going to be using my Faith Planner stickers from Create 365. And granted, it's my gratitude um, journal. So I start there with the Faith stickers. And then I venture out into other ones because things like the quote stickers and even my watercolor sticker book, those do have inspirational quotes, to be very honest with you. I mean, they do have things like fun in the sun, but they also have like, you know, believe in you can achieve. Stuff like that. So I'm just going right in the middle of it. And let's get it popping. All right, so it's coming out quite beautifully, might I add. So here we are with what we have, beautiful foundation. Like I said, I have my Faith stickers from Create 365. And I do want to put my reminders my importance i think we're just going to do reminders and importance this time around i love to put this here as a nice little like start reminder of what you're grateful for important things that happen to you today that's what i think of it as make sure your stickers aren't crooked you know little things like that Important, important, To a reminder. Important. And then hit it with a reminder. Just to keep the colors going, truthfully. All right. So I'm looking for some other things to add. Cause I want to put a nice, um, nice powerful word down in this area. Oh, we cannot forget to add our Bible quotes at the top. Something that we could focus on for this week. can use this always be humble and kind is what we're putting down there which totally works out because I was trying to use that in another like on my monthly spread but it really wasn't working with the colors but I'm glad I get to use it now I like this beautiful reminder happiness is an inside job I mean, your happiness is dependent on you and not anybody else. So I'm going to put a little inspo in these corners here. But something to work off my colors that we got going on. this which I'm totally loving right here this works a play on blues yes it's whatever is true honest just pure lovely of good report think on these things 
uh, Philippians 4 8. I like that very, very much. I think I want to add a pray right down here in the corner. And a live big up at the top. Bam. There we go. Um, and then I had, oh gosh, what did I do with that? Another really pretty banner. Oh, here we go. This, this says thankful, grateful, blessed, which is something I truly am. Here we go. All right. So I know it's really simple and kind of boring, but this is my gratitude planner and it is the place where I basically say thank you for everything that's going on in my life, everything that goes on each day. So I do like to keep it as simple as possible to be extremely honest because I need space to write it all down. And when I tell you I'll be writing, I'll be writing. Not to say that, like, it's my journal and I'm like, well, today I was happy, today I was sad. But, no, there are really and truly things that go on in my life day to day. And I just see the God in it. Like, blessings that come without me even asking. Being able to be a blessing to other people. Realizing how my outlook and my change is positively affecting other people so it's like you go from being a Debbie Downer to seeing the good and everything that happens and you're more positive and you're happier and people notice that about you and they're like wow she's happy I think I'm gonna be happy too like it's the smile that you give a person that really and truly means a lot not only to you because you were able to smile but to that other person because you smiled at them so People don't realize that the small things like a smile truly and honestly go a very long way because you never know what's going on in that person's life. They could have just got some really horrible news or they could have been going through a really bad day or a really bad time in their life. But that smile that you gave them can have such a huge impact on them and really turn things around for other people. And those are the things that I write in here. So I'm not writing, dear diary, today so-and-so said something to me. Or today I had a lot of work to do and I don't know how I'm going to get through my day. No, I write, you know, I did, things are looking real stressful at work right now. But I just remember that I am blessed not only to have a job, but to have people around me and a team that cares about me. And we're able to come together as a team. And I see that as such a blessing because a lot of other people don't have that. That they're totally stressed out at their job and they feel alone. But I have a wonderful team and we've cultivated this great friendship together where I know that regardless of what's going on in my day, I have other people to depend on. That's what I write in here. And I'm blessed to be able to have something to write each and every day. And that's basically what I reflect on on Sundays, that I was able to fill this whole week up with not only blessings that I've received, but being able to be a blessing to another person. And that is why I keep this so plain and so simple because I want to be able to recount my blessings for the day. So, with all that being said, I'm closing out my gratitude planner because I'm very happy with where I'm at with it. And it allows me the space and the opportunity to write down my blessings. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, you want to talk about anything, you want to talk about how to be more of a blessing to other people or how to even recognize blessings in your own life, feel free to um, send me an email because it may be a little longer than the comment box allows. But you can even comment, um, I want to talk to you, um, email me at such and such. And I'll definitely email you back and we can get the conversation started. Or if you feel more comfortable because you got a lot to say and you want to just shoot me an email, go right ahead and send me an email. It's planned on planning at gmail.com um if you you know want to follow me on social media and write something on social media because that's just easier for you because you're always on social media because i'm always on social media go ahead follow me on um instagram of course slide in my dms and we can get to talking but in the meantime and in between time i will see you a little later